Hello everyone. So people have requested that you make a video of Tail1 CSS and next year so stay on C panel. So I've decided to make this in quick short video for you guys. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, let's go to our browser and um so once you open up the browser over here, just search for Tail1 next year. So you can see the keyword over here, Tail1 next year. So once you have a search for this time, you see this link over here. So just click on the link and they will take you to the documentation, Tailwind and Next.js documentation, where you can be able to set up your project properly. So um, let's go ahead and type this command. First of all, we create a Next app. So you can copy it over here and do that, but I prefer to change the project name and Tailwind. Tailwind, um, Tailwind CSS. So just hit enter. Let it create a page and create a project for us. All right. So once the project has been created, the next is we cd into that project. So since I call the project Tailwind CSS, I'm going to cd Tailwind CSS. So I'm in the project now. So once I'm in the project you can um, go ahead and and um, copy this command over here so you can see the command over here so let's copy the command and then um, paste it so all right so once it is installed you can see npx tail one css in it so that it can be able to init the project initialize and tail wind within your project so you can see the command over here is the next command in line so just go ahead and hit enter so you can see it has created and set up in Tailwind for you within your project. So the next step is to open our project in any editor of your choice. So in this case, I'm using the Visual Studio Code. So I will go ahead and type code, then dot within this directory so that it will open it in my VS Code. So next, you can see that my project is open over here. And um, I have all these um, packages available. I have tailwind.config available over here. And I also have... Um, Port CSS the, um, dot config available over here too. So let's go back to the documentation again. So over here in this documentation, they ask us to replace this line within our config. So let's just copy everything over here. So we copy everything and take it to our tail1.config.jsh. So tail1.config.js, we highlight everything and remove it and then paste this new. So, but I don't want my component to reside in this component directory. I want them to reside in source. So I'm going to create a new directory known as src source. So after creating this directory, I will change this component to point to that directory, which is source in this case, src. So the directory that you see in the directory that you have created, if you want to leave components, you can leave it. But if you have changed the directory of where you will be dropping your components, ensure you change it in this config as well. So we save everything and go back to the documentation. So within the documentation over here, they said we should copy this and config over here and drop it in globals.css. So we copy it and then take it to styles globals.css since i don't want to make use of all these styles that are within this um place maybe just some i don't want to make use of all so i will just these are default and style sheet with that comes with next years so all i will do is to paste this or let me say paste it at the top so this is the config from Taywind. So after we have done that, let's go back to the documentation again. All right, so when we come back here to step five over here, ask us to run npm run dev to see how our application is running. So let's, let's do that. So npm run dev. Well, you can see the app here is up and running. So everything is fine. So let's try to use in Taywind components in our application and see how see if it will work so if we go back over here and we go on the components application ui i want to try test this component and see if it will work in my next.js application so you can see it is under html so if i click on this code you can see if you want to change if you want to copy react view html it is up to you 
So, but I want to copy this HTML part. So I'll just and copy it over here. I like everything and, and then copy. Or you can just simply click over here and you copy the code. So let me go and paste it. All right, so back in my VS code, you can see our source directory is empty. So I'm going to create a component inside known as home page. So we call it homepage.js. So after I've created a component, I'm going to paste what I copied. So you can see that I've changed, I have imported image from next image and um, I have changed all my images because in next days you cannot just use them, the IMG tag like this. No, it is not allowed in next days. So I've changed all my IMG to full image. I've specified the height. So and another thing is that when you are using an external URL in your project within next days, you have to configure it in your next, your next config. So if you come over here in next config, since the images I'm using, some are from Taiwan's domain, some are from Unsplash and then W3Org and encrypted. So I've included all the domains that my images are going to be uh, fished from. So this is what you do. So once you have done all this, you can see our home page over here. We have not used it anywhere. So we want to go to, let's save it. We want to go to index page over here and um, we will we will remove everything. We don't want this um, code over here. And we want to use our home page. That's our Taywind um, home page that we have just components that we have just created. So we don't want all these unused components. So after we are done with everything, we just and save it. So let's preview it and see. Well, if you come to our page over here, open the application in your web browser, you can see it over here. Everything is looking pretty nice. And uh, you can see our Taiwan is working pretty well. So since we have done our setup or everything, so the next step now we head to hosting it on cPanel. So the first step in hosting our application on cPanel is to go over here and um, research for Next.js next.js custom server so just type this command next.js custom server and hit enter so it will show you this link advanced features custom server just click on it and uh, let's um, scroll down to this section over here you can see they have created a custom server for us over here so all we will do is to copy the whole of this code over here to our editor so let's go back to our editor. So when we come back to our editor over here, let's and close all that stuff. So when we come back to our one code over here in the root directory of our application, we will go ahead and create a new file known as server.js. So once you have created this, we go ahead and paste the code that we copied from there. So this part, instead of saying port 3000, we say process dot emv part i mean to say sorry part or 4978 any part number so we are saying that if our server has provided a part it should pick it else it should pick this part all right so within our server over here you can see that we say process dot emv dot part or this part so if our server has provided a default part we should pick that one else it should run on this part so we also want to change the host name to our own domain so what we send if process dot emv dot node environment node emv that is the node emv is not equal to production so if it is not equal to production it should pick the host as local host else it should and um, pick our own host so in this case we are hosting it at tailwind dot take fortified dot com so it will pick any of this depending on the environment the next step here we need to configure our packet adjusting by adding a home page key so we need a home page key and the home page key now we will specify our own full domain name that is a full url so in this case we are hosting it at http taiwind dot and tech 45 dot com so just write if it is https just indicate it Okay, the next step, within, still within our script over here, since we're using a custom server, we need to change this script as well. So if we go to 
Uh, next is documentation again. We see you can see that after our custom server over here, they said we should change this script as well. So just copy this script over here back to your code editor and change the script to this. So you can see it says that if it's in production, you pick node and server.js, which is this file. So if you change the name of this file, ensure that you change it over there as well. Every other thing remains the same. So we save everything. So the next step, let's go to our file explorer and open this project within our file explorer. And you can see that our project over here, say one CSS, it is open within our file explorer. So just go ahead and first of all, delete this dot next directory. We don't need it. So once we have deleted it, go to your CMD and run NPM run build. So and hit enter. Let's wait for it to build. All right, so you can see that it has finished building. So since it has finished building, we have to select everything and then deselect or git deselect underscore modules and deselect um, um, packet dash lock. We don't need them. So after you have deselected, just and click on it and zip everything out to archive. So and um, zip from there, click on OK. So it has zipped our file. So if we hover over it, it's just 1.5 MB. The next step now is to go ahead and host it on our server. So if you have cPanel account, you can go ahead and log in. So I'm going to log into my cPanel now. Well, you can see that I've logged into my cPanel over here. So this is my cPanel account. So I'm going to scroll down to software section. So once you have scrolled down to software section, click on setup Node.js application and it will take you to this page. So once it has taken you to this page, click on create application and um, change the Node.js environment to your own Node.js environment you are using in your development. So in this case, I'm using for 14.18.3. So I'm going to select that. I will change the Node environment from development to production. And the next step is asking us the application route. So if we open this, in another tab, if you open our cPanel in another tab and scroll down to files, it's under files and file manager. If we open it and scroll down to Taiwan, once you create a sub, I've already created a subdomain. So if you are not created that, you can create a subdomain or you use your own full domain for that. So I've used, and um, you can see taiwan.tech45.com over here and it is currently empty. So it is asking us the root directory over here it is asking us what is the root directory of our application. So if you don't already have it as an existing directory within your file manager and you enter any name here that is not existing, it will create it for you. But since we already have an directory over here that is pointing to our domain, a directory for our domain, let's just use the taiwan.tech45.com. So let's taiwan.com. So that is the name of the directory over there. So once you have entered this, the next step is to choose our application URL. So why is our application URL? So it's taiwan dot is taiwind dot com. So that is our application domain. I've created this subdomain. If you have not created within your cPanel, you should be able to create a subdomain or use your own the full domain of your application. So the next step is asking us for application startup file. Why is our application startup file? So in in this yes, let's us and um, within our de development, it was server.js. So let's enter server.js. After we have entered all these details, we go ahead and click on this button, create. Well, our node application is created successfully. So let's go ahead and test the application and see if it is working by clicking on open. So you can see it says it works. It picks the current node version and displays in our browser. So the next step is to stop this application, stop it from running. So once we have stopped the application from running and we come back to our file manager over here and we click on this directory to refresh, you can see that it has created a bunch of files in the directory for us. So if it has, um, we can then go ahead and upload our files. So let's click on this upload button and then choose this, select and choose this option of, um, Check this button of overwrite existing files and click on select file. So once you have chosen that, now we get to the directory that you have zipped your project and select taiwind.css the zipped file and click on open, let it upload. 
So you can see that it has uploaded successfully. Just click on this link to go back to the directory and you can see the zipped file over here. So select it and click on this and extract. So and extract all the files. So once you have extracted the files, we can now go back to our node application. Once you come back to your node application over here, refresh the whole page so that we pick the current changes. So you can see that it has been the current changes and detected a packet or JSON in our directory. So from there, just click on this button, run NP and install to install the packages. All right, so you can see that all our packages have been installed successfully. So we can go ahead and click on start app. Let's test it out and see if the God of programming will be with us. Click on open. Lo and behold, you can see that the application is up and running. So this is pretty nice and then everything is working well. The application is hosted on and on the Node.js server. This is a Next.js application with Taywind configuration hosted on, on a cPanel account. Actually, the company I'm using is Namecheap, but you can use any company that supports a Node.js application that has a panel. So these just, I know uh, some of my uh, subscribers have requested for this video, so I've decided to make this uh, quick and short video for you guys. So I appreciate the love. I thank you guys that are contributing, that are donating to me through my Buy Me Coffee. I really appreciate you guys. I thank you immensely. For the love and um just invite your friends subscribe to my youtube channel for more awesome videos like this it's completely free of charge you don't need to buy me anything but if you want to buy me coffee it is down in the description be below thank you guys and have a nice day bye